Hello everybody, I am Fedora Gamer. It's time for another indie box unbox and play. This is the July box. I realized that I didn't put a video up of the June box. I just never got around to recording it. And I do also realize that this is very late being that July is over or July is quite over and I'm we're halfway through August now. I just I'm a lazy bastard. I really need to make more videos. Everybody should just tweet at me every day. Hey jackass, make more videos. Seriously, do it, please. Motivation. Motivate me. Anyway, indie box. Now I do know what game this is. I do remember the email about it. Actually, it wasn't the email about it that told me what game this was. It was a video from Nerd Slam from uh, Player Uno that hinted me off to what this is going to be. And it's one that's very relevant to him. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Lots of the cardboard paper stuff now, almost cardboard paper. And we have guacamole now. Where, where is the steam key? Okay, it's on the side now. Oh, well, that's kind of helpful. Keep that out, because I don't believe they own this game. And if I do, I forgot that I do, but it's guacamole. If you know what guacamole is, it's a luchador themed wrestling metroidvania game where you learn tricks from a goat or wrestling moves from a goat because why the hell not it's video games it is actually kind of awesome in a game i've always meant to get around to playing but let's look at the back of the box here a little bit and now to open the box always have something sharp handy when you're doing these okay I don't know if I like my camera placement this time around. I fiddled with it a lot, and I probably shouldn't have. But I'm going to avoid showing you guys the Steam key, because I don't believe I own this game. Oh, come on, cellophane. There, the cellophane has been defeated. I've actually been anxiously awaiting to see what, uh, what swag comes in this game. Let's see what we got here. We have the Guacamole Definitive Collection. By the way, this is Guacamole. Guacamole. It's really hard not to say that. Guacamole Definitive Edition. I don't know what the difference between the different editions are, but we have the original soundtrack, of course, that comes with every game. This one has 34 tracks. What's next? Eh, stuff is stuck in here. We have the Guacamole Instruction Manual. Quick flip through here, very well done. I really dig the art style of Guacamele, it's pretty awesome. And wow, that, that glare is pretty not awesome, there we go. But that's not really a big important thing. We'll get through the, the uninteresting things first, and this is the Guacamele USB game cartridge that uh, you would expect in a indie box. This contains the DRM version, free DRM free version of the game, as well as some extra digital goodies, usually. What else do we have here? World's Grey Essential Autos. It's a uh, recipe card. Wow, that's interesting. That's pretty unique, that's for sure. Now I want enchiladas. Hmm. I'm hungry, damn it. Thank you, guacamole. Then we have the e-zine, which we won't look at yet, because it tells us everything else that's in here. There's something in here that is wrapped in bubble wrap, and I think it's kind of stuck to the bottom of the box. Okay, let's get these things out. Guacamele sticker. Oh, no, I actually think this is a... Yeah, it's a temporary tattoo thing. Rather large, actually. Then a guacamole sticker that is that's upside down. I was wondering why that didn't look like much like a face of a luchador mask. Okay. You things in the box, you're coming out now. Oh, this is cool. A guacamole shot glass. Ooh, with the main uh, villain on the back there. Also, bubble wrap go away. No wonder there's bubble wrap. Came in perfect condition, no chips, no cracks. Uh, thank you, Bubble Wrap. Bubble Wrap, one of mankind's greatest inventions. And there's something else pretty interesting down in here. It is a 
felt chicken, which I'm assuming has some relevance from the game. There's chickens in the game. Yeah, that's really cool. It uh, feels like actual felt. Maybe. I don't know. A felt chicken. Let's get you a better view over there. He's got the little legs. And there is still one more thing hanging out down here that. We, of course, the Indie Box sticker with the Guacamole theme. I really dig how they do the different themes on these stickers. And it gets added to my poster board sticker collection over there. So, anything else in the box? No. So, of course, there's the wonderful box art. The Indie Box Guacamole sticker. The e-zine, which we can look through real quick now here. Uh, the cartridges. <laughs> okay. It blacks out things actually referring to alcohol. Calica scratched out mini glass instead of shot glass. Fill this bad boy up with some top shelf apple juice. <laughs> That's entertaining. Uh, where is that uh, USB cartridge? It has the soundtrack and the guacamole game on the di on the uh, cartridge. Which also comes with Mac, Windows, and OS versions of the game. But doesn't say anything about any additional digital goodies this time around, so... Oh, hey, this does actually feature Player Uno, though, and, and Nerd Slam. He, if I remember correctly, he's in the game in Guacamelee. Not as a playable character, but he's in there somewhere. I'm going to have to try to find him. But if you haven't checked out Player Uno, he's a wrestler and does gaming YouTube channel, which... He's about as active as I am recently, unfortunately, but he's one of my favorite channels. I've done a video with him. He's a real cool guy. You should go check out his channel. You should tweet at him. He's just a all-around fun guy to associate with. There's an interview with him here, which I'm going to have to read later. Congratulations, Blair, on over getting in the, in the indie box. That's just pretty badass, man. Well done. And, of course, we have the felt chicken, which will get hung up on my wall, most likely. We have the luchador sticker, the temporary tattoo, the recipe card. I was going to say, it'd be better if they said real, just, you know, made enchiladas, but then that would be gross, too. And the game cartridge. The pretty freaking awesome guacamole shot glass. If I ever hang out, go hang out with player Uno. I'm going to have to take this with me when you drink out our shot glasses, our guacamole shot glasses, the instruction manual, and the music CD. Now, let's jump over and actually check out the game. Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition. Welcome back from that, from that quick little time jump, as you just heard. This is Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition by Drinkbox Games. I honestly don't know what all the differences between the different versions of it is, the different editions. I... If I had one little knock against this game, it would be that. It's really freaking confusing. Um, one thing I do know is this allows four-player multiplayer rather than two-player that the previous editions did. So let's go ahead and jump right into it real quick. Now, as I mentioned during the unboxing, Guacamelee is a luchador wrestling-themed um, Metroidvania. That's what I'm looking for. If you don't know what Metroidvania is, it's a... 2D action platformer with kind of an expansive world of different screens connected and lots of item gating. Item gating. That was hard to say for some reason. Though there's not really item gating in this, it's ability gating. Certain abilities allow you to access new areas that you could not previously, but it serves the same purpose. So let's uh, come over here real quick. I did find player Uno. He is right there. He is, in fact, in this game. Doesn't look so tough though. I can uppercut him in the face real quick. Yeah, I'd, I'd kick his ass. Not really though. He he'd kick my ass in in actuality. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back a little bit because I know there's no combat to the right there, and the combat is the the main focus of this game. So let's go show you some of the combat here. I do love the aesthetic of this. Oh, let's uh, punch and not talk for a second. 
I do love the aesthetic of this game. It's very vibrant. Vi vibrant. God, words are hard today. Very vibrant. Very colorful. It's it's just really awesome looking game. Here is a shop. Also, we can go in here to buy abilities and costumes. Abilities like health chunks, which kind of works like a Zelda health container type system. Three of them equals another chunk of health. Same with stamina, which is used for your special abilities. Health regen, etc., etc. And then you can also buy some costumes. I have unlocked this very gorgeous pink one there. This takes silver, which you gain from little pinata events. You gain silver, which is an alternate currency just for the costume, so it doesn't take away from your gold that you need for abilities to actually uh, strengthen your character. So that's pretty nice. This also, in the original version of this game had two players, so the second player's costumes could be unlocked there. Now this has four players, I have no idea what other characters would actually be played by those other players. And let's not let you throw a bone at me. You can oh, and there's another guy down there that's going to. You can do a throw attack once you weaken an enemy a little bit, and I'll actually throw them into other enemies, which is quite satisfying to do. Now I did tell you this is item gated. I've only gotten one of the special not item gated, but ability gated. I've only gotten one of the special abilities thus far, and that's the uh, rooster uppercut. It's useful to, in two ways to get you in new areas. It can give you more height to your jump. As you can see there, I can normally not jump that high, which is used extensively right after you get it. You have to have that. And it can also break red blocks. The abilities are taught to you by a goat that's also a man, an old man, perverted old man that wants to date your mother and asks you inappropriate questions about your mother. Because why the hell not? These guys can be a little bit annoying. You have to actually rooster uppercut them into the air. That actually went a lot smoother than I expected. We're just going backwards. I'm basically just grinding some money here. Showing you a little bit of the combat. Do some skeleton bowling here. Combat and controls. The controls for the combat and the controls for, um, for the platforming are very tight and very satisfying. It doesn't mean I'm good at it, but there we go. Those red vines are pretty interesting. You do have a dodge here that I'll show you. And that dodge roll gives you some invulnerability frames. You know, as I'll show you here, you can dodge through attacks. You also need to use that to dodge through annoying red vines. You eat rooster uppercut. Yeah. I don't think I've actually gone this direction. Oh, I have. Need some kind of other ability to get through this. Actually, I believe um, since they're twinkling like that, and as you saw there, there's those outlines of platforms. There is a mechanic in this game to switch to and from the world of the dead and the world of the living. It's kind of part of the story, which I have not actually explained any about. And those uh, those various things change in the world of the dead. So that's what those are all about. Here's those red vines I was telling you about. You dodge through them, not jump into them. This isn't as hard as I'm making it look, that's for sure. What do we have down here? Oh yeah, this is the, the goat guy. Now, he won't turn back into a man right now. This is where I got that first ability. The uh, legendary goat trainer guy. His uh, transformation from a goat to a human is actually quite an entertaining animation. Oh, I messed the timing up on that. There we go. There's actually something else I want to show you guys. I think it's down here. As for story, basically you are nothing more than like a farm hand with just some lofty dreams of being a luchador, not actually acting on them, just kind of idolizing them. And then the skeleton with a very fancy sombrero attacks the town, kidnaps the president's daughter. Sorry, I'm trying not to get hit by those stupid throwing bone guys. Kidnaps the president's daughter. You try to do something to stop him. He kills you. And in the world of the dead, a magic, the mask I'm wearing, a magical luchador mask appears to you, turns you into a magical luchador, brings you back to the world of the living to fight this guy, because why the hell not? It's video games. <laughs> it's a very entertaining 
storyline, to say the least. Um, what direction do I want to go? Here's more of that uh, gating that's going on that probably, I believe requires the ability to switch to the world of the dead, which the game uses quite a bit of in the videos I've seen of later gameplay. Also here, this, this is the chicken that there is a felt version of in the indie box. Why? I don't know. I mean, the chicken just tells you a tutorial tip. There's no explanation of why there's a giant talking chicken here, and I kind of love it. I have a feeling the chicken probably appears in more places throughout the game. But anyway, this has been Guacamelee. It's a very good game. If you don't already own it, you should probably get it. If you want to get the cool stuff that came with it, you can go on any box and buy back boxes. But if you're interested in getting your own indie boxes, there will be a link in the description. This is an affiliate link. I don't make money off. It just knocks a little bit of money off of my next month's indie boxes. So if you do uh, sign up for any box through my affiliate link, I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.